four children. Who are now literally adults and they're not writer. I was quite frugal in the beginning, sort of like baking bread and making my own cakes and, and the Saturday soup business and Saturday soup becomes a Wednesday soup as well. <laughs> and a lot of one pot meals where everything goes in the pot and it's a nutritious meal with a slice of chunky bread and jam, homemade jam as And well. do, you, do, you, do you do that more now because yeah. the food bills are getting more expensive? Yeah. Plus the fact I've grown my own vegetables as well. So Fantastic, what do you grow? Well, cucumbers, literally everything, pumpkins, potatoes, onions. Good, don't worry about it. But so uh, what do you do then? What hint have you got you know, to try and um, keep a bit more money in your purse basically? One thing which I've just uh, discovered is that I don't buy fresh tomatoes. I buy the sauce as they sell the sauces, the, 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 their brand and Tesco have their brand. I use I use those sauces to make my 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 food instead of buying tomatoes. So I mix up this, the vegetables and use that. Even if it's meat, I use it I do as little meat as I can. When it's chicken, I chop it into small, small, small pieces and mix it up with the vegetables and use that sauce most of my food. So it makes it goes a long way. Sometimes I lot your money up before you travel, you know, to spend. So you budget? Yes. Or what do you do? Do you write it down or do you have that it's on a best computer? Let's write it down. So you travel to bit of paper and I mean, you don't try to, to overspend on what you've written, written down, yeah? And do you stick to your budget, your bit of paper? Yes. That's the only way to keep money in the pocket. And there are specific days that you go on a Wednesday. You know, picking up stuff from my house, like a, just as simple as a, a mirror. You just have to go and buy it for like £14. You get it for £2 and clean it up and shine it and everything like that. What other bargains have you found down there in the, in the past? Um, mirror for once, I know. And um, like the brand name perfumes. I've got three brand name perfumes for like £30. The original Versace. <laughs> Kim Jessica Parker. <laughs> And the uh, mascara, you know, just keep them on my dressing table, to, sh you know, to kind of show off. <laughs> like and the expensive. thing is, those things cost 30, 40, 50 pounds a box. Yeah, I've got a hundred mil, a hundred mil just a couple of them. Yeah. But it was like, a, it was for the shops, but it's the tester, you know, but it's still the original. The first thing my dad ever did was to give us um, a, a tub, which was, um, an old paint tub which we scrubbed out, painted and stuff like that and we planted potatoes in. So that was when I was a child. Yeah. Well, I encouraged both my parents to dig up, my mother to dig up a piece of grass in the back garden, my dad a piece of grass in the back garden. And we have um, cabbages, sprouts, uh, broccoli, sweet corn. Sweet corn didn't do too good this year. Tomatoes had blow it so it didn't do too good. The parsnips and the potatoes have done fantastically. So what we've done is we've part blanched most of them and packed them into plastic containers. So there are one or two meals per container. So well into February we'll still have them potatoes there waiting for the new crop to come through. Apples are out there. You just need to look for them. You don't need to actually go and buy. I still scrump. I'm a 51 year old scrump. I know about 12 sites that have trees that were part of farms and things that have, have just been left to do their own thing and I still scrump apples. <laughs> so there's, there are lots of things. I mean where I go fishing, there are, there are um, slow berries, so I bring slow berries back, I bring crab apples back, the dams and, you, you know, there's so much and it's wild and it's free. There you go.